America's Royal Highness the Crown Prince attends the Lord High Admiral's Parade held at the Britannia Royal Naval College in Dartmouth. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad affirms that Istijaba program represents one of the important initiatives that will create a new march for Bahaini sports. And His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad inaugurates the Champions Without Limits initiative for the wounded in action. Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today attended the Lord High Admiral's Parade held at the Britannia Royal Naval College, the BRNC in Dartmouth. His Royal Highness received the salute at the parade, which marked the commissioning of 152 officer cadets. Twenty different nationalities were represented with officer cadets on parade from Bahrain, United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, Albania, Egypt, Iraq, Lebanon, Singapore and Sri Lanka. During the parade, His Royal Highness presented the intakes winners with prizes and delivered an address, in which he congratulated the newly commissioned officers on the significant achievement of completing their training.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince delivered the following speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Deputy Lord Lieutenant, Admirals, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is indeed a great honor to stand before you, representing Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, at today's Lord High Admiral's Parade, a signature event in the life of this college and in the lives of those who train here. To the newly commissioned officers, you have all been tested, both physically and mentally, over the past 30 weeks. From the parade ground to the classroom, from the wilds of Dartmoor to the expanse of the open sea, you have all met the challenges thrown at you, and for which you should now feel an immense sense of achievement and satisfaction. Congratulations to you all. You now move to the next phase of your training and ultimately your careers within your respected nation's naval forces. The challenges you'll face will be varied. They will often be complex. Once overcome, they will be incredibly rewarding. As officers, the responsibility to those under your command will be paramount. Armed forces demand strong, thoughtful, and considered leadership. You will often be required to make difficult decisions at a moment's notice and to provide motivational leadership at all times. Throughout, those under your care will look to you for instruction and for guidance. And your navies will depend upon you for the improvement of the collective, ensuring that talent and ability is both recognized and retained. Leadership will also demand that you place trust in and empower your senior ratings, ensuring everyone is working at their optimum level. To Captain Woodard and all of the military and academic staff of this college who have instructed, coached, and mentored you, thank you. Uh, thank you all for the tremendous work and support you have offered to the cadets during their time at Dartmouth. To all the parents, family and friends here today, I know very well the upswell of pride you will be feeling. My son commissioned from Dartmouth in 2015 and I, like you, watched the ceremony with an immense sense of joy. Their achievement here is hugely significant and to be forever remembered. The Royal Navy has a proud history. The oldest of the armed forces, the senior service has been at the forefront of Britain's global role for over four centuries. It is as relevant to the application of the UK's foreign policy and international engagement as it ever was. And arguably, its importance today, with all of the flux we are seeing in global affairs, is only making its role all the more essential. And its new carriers coming into operation will underpin the future of the UK Armed Forces power projection, which I believe is in the interests of all nations seeking a path to stability, peace, and prosperity. That you have all chosen to get your training from Britannia Royal Naval College speaks to the continued mark of excellence of the Royal Navy. And I know there is a great deal of pride held here in you undertaking your training at this college. I note there are upwards of 20 different nationalities represented here today, with officer cadets on parade from Bahrain, Albania, Egypt, Iraq, Lebanon, Singapore, Sri Lanka, and of the 152 officer cadets commissioning, there are representatives from Saudi Arabia, Fiji, Ghana, Kuwait, Malta, Bangladesh, Malaysia, Guyana, and the Bahamas. You undoubtedly have generated links with each other and within the Royal Navy that will endure throughout your careers. Speaking for the Kingdom of Bahrain, our own links with the Royal Navy span over 200 years. We are proud that these ties have been bolstered and strengthened with the establishment of its new naval support facility, the Royal Navy's first overseas establishment for over 50 years. Navies serve as an essential component of any nation's security architecture. Through their monitoring and patrols, they can readily identify and neutralize threats and ensure that trade routes remain open and secure. They also stand ready to respond to conflict scenarios and humanitarian missions at a moment's notice. 
The challenges are real. Your resolve is in no doubt. This is your time. Thank you all. And to say once more to those commissioning today, congratulations, all my very best to you in your future naval careers. Thank you. Following the parade, Captain Joe Lyon Woodard hosted a Navy reception during which His Royal Highness met a group of young officers and this intake's prize winners. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated a program, Istijaba, in response to the reform project led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. 
calling for the development of government sectors. Also present were their Highnesses, Excellencies, Ambassadors and officials in the Kingdom. In a statement on the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Istijaba program is one of the important initiatives being launched in the current period and that he is looking at Bahraini sports in a modern way as it represents an important industry and to ensure the success of this industry. His Highness said he is fully confident of the members of the Coordination, Follow-up and Implementation Committee which were formed to oversee the implementation of all the objectives and their program and their expertise and high efficiency. He called upon them to communicate with various relevant public and private sectors and civil society organizations in order to form a partnership that contributes to achieving the goals of the program. His Highness issued Resolution No. 1 of 2018 concerning the formation of the Coordination, Implementation and Follow-up Committee, which is concerned with the preparation of periodic reports and recommendations on the youth and sports sectors in Bahrain to develop and find the necessary solutions to achieve the objectives of the Council and guide the concerned parties in this regard through coordination between the President of the Council and the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, the Bahrain Olympic Committee, as well as the concerned ministries and departments. It aims to determine the use of the budget allocated to the youth and sports sectors and ways to rationalize them and make recommendations and proposals to provide the best ways through the support of private enterprises.
اليوم الصوت يجب أن يكون مسموع ويجب الرسالة اليوم في هذا الملتقى تكون رسالة جدا واضحة والوضوح اليوم أنتم شفتوه في يعني بكل بساطة في كذا ثانية من هالفيديوهات اللي أنتم استمعتوا لعرضها ولكن نستشف اليوم الكلام من سمو ولي العهد وسمو ولي العهد قال الباقي عليكم والمقصود من الباقي عليكم هو فعلا ان المسؤوليه مشتركه مثل ما قال سيدي حضره صاحب الجلاله مسؤوليتنا اليوم هي احنا في المسؤوليه في قطاع الشباب والرياضه علينا رسم السياسات واصحاب التنفيذ اللي موجودين معانا اليوم في هذه القاعه عليهم تنفيذ هذه السياسات والبرامج والاستراتيجيه فاليوم انتم كلكم كحضور مشاركين معاي في هذه الخطوه ما حد منكم اليوم ضيف عشان بس اشد انتباهكم من البدايه كلكم اليوم مسؤولين وكلكم اليوم مطالبين بالافكار وكلكم اليوم مطالبين ان انتم تمشون في هذه الخطوه ان شاء الله اللي راح ناخذها كلنا معا اللي علي انا اليوم بسيط جدا اليوم انا في كلمتي راح استعرض عليكم بعض الاستراتيجيات اللي ان شاء الله راح تصب في هذا البرنامج الوطني اللي احنا سميناه استجابه واستجابه بكل بساطه هي استجابه للرغبه لقيادتنا الرشيده ومتابعه سمو الولي ولي العهد الخاصه خاصه في هذه القطاعات فاليوم احنا كمسؤولين عن الشباب الرياضه عندنا مسؤوليه كبيره في الشباب وخاصه في المجال الرياضي وكلها تصب في نفس المجال فمره اخرى احنا اليوم في هذا الملتقى راح نوضح اللي راح نقوم به في الايام المقبله والاسابيع المقبله والاشهر المقبله الى ان نصل الى ان شاء الله رؤية 2030 وكيف مملكة البحرين راح تكون بعد العمل المباشر والمتواصل من اليوم من هذا إلى 2030. The Istijaba program was inaugurated today by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the presence of a number of senior officials. His Highness stressed the importance of the youth and sports sector in the kingdom and his unwavering support to the younger generation. The Istijaba initiative represents an important platform of backing and innovation for Bahraini sports and will serve in creating new fixed income sources to benefit the sector. It's absolutely important that uh, you know when colleges and universities, not just one university of Bahrain but other colleges also recognize and with the sports and uh, it, it brings up a lot of personalities and the characters of people. I think it's absolutely fantastic and I mean, in our countries when the youth are a majority of the population you need a platform and an environment for them to grow in and His Highness's vision is absolutely meeting that requirement. His Highness stated that Bahrain is focusing on the issue of upgrading sports to a priority in the next phase of development, which is clearly represented through the affiliated programs, which include scholarships for student athletes. We are very happy to be here and uh, to listen to His Highness Sheikh Nasser with the, the initiatives that he uh, give it, uh, to, to the audience today. And I think those initiatives is very important to the youth and uh, to the youth sec sectors and sports since uh, there is a, a scholarship and there is a number of academies uh, that it will be uh, established here in Bahrain, international academies. So those uh, initiatives, I think it will take uh, sports and youth uh, in, the in, in, the in, in the national level to the international level. This initiative falls in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to support the march of the sports movement in Bahrain, as well as the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Several agreements have been signed between the Ministry of Youth and Sports, the Bahrain Olympic Committee and private companies and institutions that will implement these projects. 
The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for the Disabled, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the Dana Special Education Center on the occasion of World Autism Awareness Day and the presence of the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Hamedan, the Ministry's Under Secretary, Sabah Salam al Dosari, the Assistant Under Secretary for Welfare and Rehabilitation, Sheikh Aisha bint Ali Al Khalifa, and a number of officials from the Ministry. His Highness highlighted the Kingdom of Bahrain's efforts in supporting children with autism and learning difficulties through developmental projects that provide treatment and an educational environment for these children, which facilitate their integration into society. His Highness toured the center and listened to a presentation on the diverse program provided by the center's board chairman, Sumaya Saleh. On this occasion, His Highness affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa had directed to continue implementing efforts that guarantee treating autistic children. He stated that the aim of the visit is to involve all children in society as they only require support, encouragement, and advanced educational methods that highlight their talents. His Highness commended the efforts of Donna Center in performing its national duties, wishing them success. Sheikh Khalid signed a commemorative board which contained one of His Highness's quotes calligraphed by Ayman Jafar. During the visit, His Highness met and exchanged talks with a number of the children's families. Donna Center's board chairman, Sumaya Saleh, presented His Highness with a commemorative gift and he took a group photograph with the center's members. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated at BSFD Hall 
the Champions Without Limits initiative for the Wounded in Action, which was held under His Highness's patronage and the organization of BSFD in cooperation with His Highness's media office. His Highness Sheikh Khalid was received by the commander of the National Guard Special Operations Unit, Major Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, the Under Secretary of the Defense Ministry, Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Askar, as well as a number of officers from the Bahrain Defense Force, the Ministry of Interior, and the National Guard. He stated that the initiative comes in implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King, which aim to provide the suitable environment that helps the wounded in action to integrate into society. He added that His Highness's initiatives will be open for everyone, especially the wounded in action, asserting that he directed BSFD to involve these champions to practice sports through providing them with an ideal environment at the Foundations Hall and to hold sports games in which they would like to participate. His Highness Sheikh Khalid held the efforts of BSFD under the presidency of Sheikh Mohammed bin Adaij Al Khalifa in organizing the event.
His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa inaugurated the Champions Without Limits initiative today and affirmed that the event was extremely important and shows that the sacrifices of the wounded in action are appreciated, which represent national work and glorious service that will be commemorated. We'd like to thank His Highness Sheikh Khalid for uh, taking the initiative uh, of uh, having this event as in the, under his patronage and uh, we are proud to say that uh, we have been mandated by His Highness to put this program together uh, for the injured militants in the Kingdom of Bahrain. We'd like to uh, encourage them to, uh, to become more active in, in sports which will enable their uh, self-esteem to be uh, uh, more motivated and to, uh, to be able to participate in the military games uh, in the world uh, uh, representing the Kingdom of Bahrain and uh, representing the Kingdom in the highest uh, manners uh, not only in the, in the field of military and, uh, and law enforcement but also in the field of uh, sports and athleticism. The honorees were proud to have His Highness's support and were very grateful for his backing. The initiative comes in implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King, which aimed to provide them with a suitable environment to integrate into society. His Highness Sheikh Khalid, he made a great program for the people like who were completely hurt so that they can have a good, really good change in their life. It's a big, great hand, you know. If someone is coming, a big personality, and coming and supporting you, it's a, it's a huge, huge gesture you know, for the people like us. Like we are on duty 24 hours, and we, we, we face all kinds of uh, problems, all kinds of danger things. And if we get support from some uh, big personality like this, it's a big gesture for us. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the wounded in action and their sacrifices to serve their religion, country and king. He affirmed that Bahrain's history will document their sacrifices and achievements and the source of pride they represent for future generations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to attend the ceremony held by the British Embassy in Bahrain to mark the 92nd birthday of Her Majesty King Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland.
During the event, His Highness delivered the following speech. the 92nd birthday of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. On behalf of the Kingdom's leadership and the people of Bahrain, may I extend our warmest wishes to Her Majesty the Queen on this occasion. May I also take this opportunity to thank His Excellency, the British Ambassador, Simon Martin, for the invitation to be with you this evening. Today we reflect on a remarkable record of public service. To put the sheer scale of Her Majesty's 66-year reign into perspective since her coronation, the Queen has undertaken over 264 official state visits to 116 countries, appointed 13 British Prime Ministers, and witnessed the inauguration of 13 US Presidents, in addition to having 15 British Ambassadors to the Kingdom of Bahrain serve Her Majesty since 1971. Her Majesty has overseen the expansion of the Commonwealth from seven member states to the 53 states that took part in the Commonwealth Games that ended this week. And importantly to those in the Kingdom and around the world who feel passionately about the equestrian world, she has earned a reputation as an icon with over 1,700 winners to Her Majesty's name. Over the course of those 66 years, the Queen has left the world in no doubt of her commitment to the values of integrity, faith, and modesty that has defined a lifetime of service, both to the United Kingdom and its allies. I had the honor of meeting Her Majesty myself during a Queen's Royal Lancer Officers' Dinner, a regiment with which I served on attachment after commissioning from Sandhurst. Standing in anticipation, Next to my contemporaries, she had made her way to the far reaches of the room, the dark corner in which us young officers were placed. I introduced myself and when prompted, exclaimed excitedly that I was reading war studies at King's College London, to which she let out a long drawn out sigh, one that seemed all too knowing. Today, Bahrain UK relations are stronger and our collaboration more diverse than ever before. This is in no small part down to a joint commitment by His Majesty King Hamad and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II to work in close partnership to the benefit of our nations. Within the last fortnight alone, we have celebrated a new chapter in our defense relationship with the launch of the UK Naval Support Facility. We have inaugurated a new higher education partnership project that will see the new British University Bahrain, BUB, open its doors to students later this year. And we have joined forces to support the growth of global entrepreneurship through holding the first Pitch at Palace Bahrain event, an initiative led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and His Royal Highness the Duke of York. Together, our 200-year-old bilateral relationship continues to play a pivotal role in protecting stability and peace within the region and supporting economic growth in both countries. The world has changed much since 1979 when His Highness the late Sheikh Isa bin Salman and His Majesty King Hamad welcomed Her Majesty the Queen to the Kingdom of Bahrain for the first time. Today, as in 1979, the world faces a range of complex and shifting threats. And yet, as symbols of leadership, the influence of these two long-term friends remains constant. As the United Kingdom and Bahrain stand shoulder to shoulder to face these threats together should give us confidence that the leaders of both our countries embody the values of dedication and integrity that His Majesty King Hamad and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth have come to represent. I have no doubt that under their wise guidance, the historic bond between our countries will continue to grow and strengthen in the years ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Kingdom of Bahrain is delighted to join you in celebrating Her Majesty's 92nd birthday, 66 years of her reign, and the vitality of the special relationship between our two nations. Thank you.
The British Ambassador to Bahrain, Simon Martin, thanked His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman for his thoughtful words and joined him in praising the historic partnership between Bahrain and the UK. The event was attended by over 500 guests, including the royal family, senior government officials and other dignitaries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Governor of the Southern Province Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa to attend the reception held this evening by the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Simon Martin, to mark the birthday of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Present were senior officials, diplomats and invited guests. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid and Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali conveyed the congratulations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and wished Her Majesty continued health and the United Kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. They praised the advanced level of cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which reflects the depth of historical ties between the leaders and people of the two friendly countries. For his part, the British Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain thanked Her his Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, for his continued support to bolster the relations between the two countries, stressing that the Bahraini-British relations were witnessing continuous development in various sectors. The Southern Governor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, honored the officers of the Southern Governorate Police Directorate, led by the Director General of Southern Governorate Police Directorate, Brigadier Hamid Ali al murri the event took place at the Royal Police Academy in the presence of a number of senior officers and affiliates of the Ministry of Interior. The ceremony comes in appreciation of the extensive efforts and continuous cooperation between the Governorate and the Southern Governorate Police Directorate, which contributed to making outstanding security achievements. The ceremony began with the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, followed by a speech delivered by the Southern Governor in which he affirmed that the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He noted that their directors emphasized the importance of security in achieving development and prosperity. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali stated that the directors and unlimited support of the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, serve as the foundation of communication and cooperation between security officers to perform their responsibilities in the directorate. He noted the success of cooperation between the governorate and the, and the southern police directorate, which resulted in addressing and rectifying a number of issues. He said that the most prominent solution was the CCTV project at the governorate. At the end of the ceremony, the southern governor presented a commemorative gift to the commander of the Royal Police Academy, Brigadier Ibrahim Hamad al -Shib, on behalf of the Southern Governorate Police Directorate, Brigadier and Murray presented the Southern Governor with a commemorative gift in appreciation of his efforts. And before we end the news, here's a reminder of our top stories.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince attends the Lord High Admiral's Parade held at the Britannia Royal Naval College in Dartmouth. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad affirms that Istijaba program represents one of the most important initiatives that will create a new march for Bahraini sports. And His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad inaugurates the Champions Without Limits initiative for the wounded in action. And that's all from Bahrain International's News Center. On behalf of the news team, goodbye.